Oh, chocolate. Why do you taste so good? Where did you come from? Did you just fall out of the sky one day and land in my hands and my heart? What are your secrets? Oh, if only I had the knowledge of some sort of, I don't know, kooky man who works in a factory that makes chocolate. Wait a second. Hey Jack, can I have some of that chocolate? Jack? Jack? Woohoo! It's me, Billy Wonka. Bonkers, Bonker, Billy Bonker. Uh, of Billy Bonker's Chocolate Factory. Look, I'm a big deal in Europe, all right? And I just so happen to know a thing or two about chocolate. Okay, but do you have any actual chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. But I do know a group of people who might be able to help. Let's go back 5,300 years to Central America, where the ancient Aztecs and Mayan civilizations first discovered cacao beans, which came from the cacao tree. They loved these beans so much, they used them in religious ceremonies and as offerings to the gods. Lucky gods. And they even used the beans as a form of money. Although, I don't think they looked like these chocolate coins. They also ground roasted cacao beans with water to make a bitter tasting drink called chocolatel. In the 1500s, a Spanish explorer brought the bitter drink back to Spain. At first, they used it to treat upset stomachs, but after mixing it with honey, sugar, or something else sweet, they soon discovered it made a very delicious drink. And about a hundred years later, the rich people of Europe were drinking it in places called chocolate houses. Fancy. Ugh. You're right about it being bitter. Hey, Billy, have you got any of that block stuff? We're getting there. That block stuff was made thanks to an invention by Dutch chemist and chocolate maker, Conrad Johannes van Houten. He invented something called the chocolate press in 1828. It was a machine that could separate cacao beans into fat or cocoa butter and a powder. Van Houten discovered that when you mix the powder back with the cocoa butter, you got the solid chocolate we know today. It was not long after that a Swiss chocolatier named Daniel Peter added powdered milk to the mixture, giving us milk chocolate. Today, chocolate factories, just like this one... Anything you want to do it. Oh, OK, maybe not like this one. That's better. Today, chocolate factories like this one use a similar process although they have bigger machines that can make all sorts of different chocolate treats for us to enjoy. Okay, okay, but can I please have some of those treats now? <laughs> Amelia, I'm not actually Billy Bonker. I don't own a chocolate factory. It's me, Jack. This is just a wig. <laughs> yes, I know. But you were eating chocolate before. Can I please have some? No, I wasn't. Subscribe to our channel, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs>